Uh, revealing the truth about Islam cannot be separated from revealing the truth about Obama. You came here tonight thinking, well, you're going to hear about Obama. Why I'm telling you the truth about Islam? It is one apple broken into two pieces. Obama is one half and Islam is the other. You cannot understand the apple, the half of Obama, without knowing the truth about Islam. They are one thing. As you're going to hear tonight, we're going to present you the truth about Islam for what Islam says and how Muslim practice what is written in the Quran. Islam is not what I tell you here tonight, but Islam is what is written in the pages of the Quran, what has been said by the mouth of Muhammad. He spoke and the truth in his, in his own word, the prophet of Islam as Muslim people believe. The media present to us Islam to be the loving, peaceful religion. Is Islam a loving, peaceful religion? As we have been hearing for the last seven years, as we are about to celebrate the anniversary of September 11, the media always and always have told us Islam is the religion of peace. Muslims are loving, peaceful people. Is this true? Perhaps as we go quickly, a few minutes to look at what the Quran teaches about Islam, what Muhammad said about his faith, his religion, we will find the truth. Is the media lie to us about Islam? Also, is Obama a Christian man? As he has presented up, up to last night when Rick Warren asked him the question and he said he is a Christian. Is that true? Let's go together to revealing the truth about Islam. As you see here, the word Islam, as we see on the screen, uh, 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 Muslims tell us that this word means peace. Is that true? For those of you who do not know Arabic, you say Islam, Salam, two close words. Maybe they both mean, mean peace. No, they're not. The word Islam itself means submission, means surrender, not the word salam, the Hebrew shalom, which means peace. I'm going to show you right now two videos. The first video comes from those uh, who believe in Islam all over the world. They all have the same voice, the same sound, the same uh, message. And the second picture we're going to see together tonight is come from a Muslim liberal. I call him a baloney Muslim who live among us here in America who tell us nothing but lies. And we, after this, we're going to go through the verses of the Quran and what Muhammad said to see for ourselves is the Islam, the loving, peaceful religion, or Islam is a barbaric hate. To be honest with you, if we understand Islam for the truth of what it is, Muslims are not supposed to even live with us here in our country. But because we're ignorant of Islam, we allow them to live among us, and someday they will practice their religion against our own children, our grandchildren. Let's watch first this first video. I pray to Allah that he will make the enemies fall into their own trap and he will destroy the Jews and their helpers from among the Christians and the communists. Let me stop here for a second. Do you read what's written on the screen? It's written, one day you will see the flag of Islam over the White House. This statement, you guys have heard it and ignored it as it never really happened. This one day is coming up in November. If Obama, Barack Hussein Obama, became your president, the flag of Islam will fly over the White House. What is your path? Jihad. What is your greatest desire? That's for the sake of Allah. Each of us lives his days and nights, hoping more than anything to be killed for the sake of Allah. We, the Imams and the mosque preachers, we have begun to consider explosive belts. We've begun considering any means of destroying the Americans. The throats must be slit and skulls must be shattered. This is the path to victory, to shahada and to sacrifice. But we have a duty to hate them, as is written in the Quran and the Sunnah. As the media present to us Islam, as even we saw this piece of video on Fox News, you come up with, they come up with the answer after it by presenting uh, the fact that there's only a small number of Muslim people in planet Earth who believe in that. Roughly 15, perhaps 20 percent. There are wonderful 80 percent of Muslims who do not believe in that. Those who do not believe in that all the infidel Christian and Jew and all those who do not believe in Allah and believe in Muhammad uh, can live in this 80% of Muslim believe we do not have to kill the Christian or we do not believe in killing the Christian and the Jew. Ignoring the fact that 20% of one and a half billion is 300 million. 
20% is not a small number. If you know that there are one and a half billion Muslims today live on planet Earth. That put in America, 15% uh, uh, of 10 million, one and a half million Muslims who live among us in America, who shout the same sound, death to America, death to America. Those who live among us. The number is huge. The reality and the fact is, yes, there are not, not all the Muslims in the world know what the Quran teach. But can you imagine if every Muslim in planet Earth today opens the Quran and read what is written and practice it? We're going to have a chaos. One and a half billion people on Earth can be someday like these 300 million. Now, we're going to watch with you another piece of video of this Muslim Imam in America. And obviously, this person has another different view of what really Islam is. This is a Muslim Imam who lives among us here in America. All religions call for love. No religion calls for hate, Edie. Then what explains that? What explains this is politics. You don't see any American cartoons saying, no, kill but, the Muslims. But these are not, not a result of, of the Islamic impulse. It is, an, it, is, it is a result of a political impulse. Mm -hmm. Are those people taking the Quran and taking it out of context? Yes. There's a difference between what we say in, in, in this country on that, you know, you should differentiate between the sin, hate the sin, but not the sinner. Um, the Quran teaches the same principle. Then how do we get these terrorist organizations that come out and make these statements and use the Quran to justify it? themselves and their action. There is something in the human psychology which, which believes in the superiority of its own individual faith and wants to impose it on everybody else. Mm -hmm. There are those who are Christians who are like this. There are those who are Muslims who are like this. It's amazing. This Imam who live here among us in America tell us that what we have seen, this uh, shout death to America and throat must be slaughtered and uh, cr uh, head must be crushed and uh, this have nothing to do with Islam. This is just politics. And then he went to psychology. This is just psychology. This is a normal thing happening among all people. Christian do that, Jew do that. Everybody like to do that. Is that true? Do we, when we open the Quran and read the verses of Muhammad, the Quran and the, uh, and the words of Muhammad Hadith, do we find what supports this gentleman here who uh, tells us that uh, Islam is uh, the religion of peace and love and all the religion call for love and all religion call for peace, no religion teach hate. Could we support that with the verses of the Quran? Or perhaps if we open the Quran and read the Quran and uh, read what Muhammad said in the Hadith, we come to the opposite conclusion that these people who believe what is written in the Quran, who practice what is written in the Quran, are the true born-again Muslim. Jihadist is nothing but born-again Muslim. Somebody obviously lying. Who is lying? We'll find out as we open the pages of the Quran and the Hadith. In chapter 2, verse 216, the Quran says, Fighting is decreed to you. And it is hated to you, yet so that perhaps you may hate something, and it is good for you, and so that perhaps you love something, and it is evil for you, and God knows, and you do not know. What did Muhammad say in this verse? Fighting is decree, it's ordained for a Muslim to do. And Allah know that Muslim hate to kill people, Muslim hate to go in wars, and he said, perhaps you hate something you should love. And perhaps you love something you should hate. That's what you should not do is to go and fight in your opinion. That's wrong. You must go and fight and must go and kill. This is just one verse. This is hadith written by Bukhari. When we say Bukhari, we're not talking about a weak hadith, a, a Jew hadith, a, a no true hadith. That's 100% true hadith. Listen what Bukhari says. Our prophet, the messenger of our Lord, ordered us to fight you till you worship Allah alone or pay us the jizya tribute tax in submission. Our prophet has informed us that our Lord says, whoever among us is killed as a martyr shall go to paradise to lead such a luxurious life as he has never seen. And whoever survives shall become your master. The order, the command came from Muhammad to Muslim to do what? To the believers to do what? To fight. To go and kill. And one of the two things will happen. 
If they got killed, they get to paradise and they made their beautiful virgins. They will have a luxurious life, not one have seen it before. And if they won, they become the master. And you, American people, will be the slave. 